I've been looking at some of the news headlines over the last couple of days, and one thing struck me is how the mainstream media is turning on Joe Biden. There have been numerous stories in the last few days of how Biden has been coddled by his inner circle and the various mistakes he has made during some of his speeches in the last few months. Most of this criticism is fully deserved, and I know that will bother some of you Biden supporters who do not want to face up to the fact that Joe Biden is struggling in many ways. But what really struck me about all the recent news coverage on Biden is how there's virtually no criticism of Trump from the political right for the mistakes that he makes during his speeches or just for the flat-out crazy things he can say sometimes. So no matter which side of a political aisle you might be on, you have to admit that one side is better at calling out their candidate than the other side. Democrats are more and more pointing out the weaknesses of Joe Biden, and it's about time they did so. But Republicans are silent about Trump, just like they've been for the better part of the last decade. And it got me wondering why that might be. Now, obviously, if you know my channel, you know I am convinced that Donald Trump matches how the Bible describes the Antichrist. So I do believe that part of the reason that Republicans do not speak out against Trump is because of the strong delusion. There's something about this man that deludes conservatives into thinking he is this wonderful defender of Christianity. This man who tells the truth. This man who is a fighter for others. When in reality, Donald Trump is all about Donald Trump. However, there is another factor involved as well. In addition to the delusion throughout the political right, there is also a lot of fear. Many, many Republicans simply fear what would happen to them politically if they went against Donald Trump. And indeed, most of those Republicans who have stood up to Trump in recent years have been sidelined or marginalized, with Liz Cheney being just one notable example. So this strong delusion and this fear of Trump that is so pervasive on the right does not have a counterpart on the left. There is no fear of Joe Biden. There's very little delusion about the state of Joe Biden. Now, there is a lot of protection of Biden, which the mainstream media certainly deserves its share of the blame for, but it's good to see that they have finally faced up to the reality of how Joe Biden is right now. Unfortunately, the man who is almost certainly coming back to power still enjoys an almost universal subservience to him on the right. And until some of those who are politically conservative start to wake up to the fact of what is happening with other conservatives, they will never be able to break through that delusion. They will never be able to finally understand that something is happening with Donald Trump that is not normal. Even if Trump didn't match the biblical descriptions for the Antichrist, this would be a cult. There's simply no other word for it. It is a cult of personality surrounding Donald Trump. But for some of us individuals who do identify as being conservative, we should be grateful that we do have the eyes to see what is happening with Donald Trump. We have not fallen into the cult of delusions surrounding him, and for that, we should be very, very grateful.